Okay, so in this example, um, quadratic equation in this form, the ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Uh, we want to put in these uh, the a, b, and c, and for our pro program to tell us whether it has two roots, one root, or no roots. So what I've done here is I've just put a note that the determinant is b squared minus 4ac. If you remember the quadratic formula, that's what's inside the little square root thing. So, so now I'm just going to call the determinant debt. Okay. So I'll break up the code and uh, show you how how we do it. So oh wait. So first, input um, the a, b, and c. So that's what we first want to do. Next, we want to input. Oh no, we don't want to input anything. We want to say if debt or the determinant has or is. Okay, wait. We want to do calculate debt. Debt. Determinant or determinant? I can't remember what it is. Uh, so calculate it. If debt is greater than zero, then two roots. And then we have like a if it's not, but it's oh wait, if it's equal to zero, zero, then one root. And then if it's less than zero, it's there are no real roots. Okay, so if the determinant is greater than zero, then there's two roots. The next situation is if it's equal to zero, then there's one root. And then if it's less than zero, then there are no real roots. Okay? So this is our program. And we're going to output whether it's two roots, one root, or no roots. Okay? So first of all, we want to do a equals input input a value for a I'm just going to copy this line because we'll do the same for b and c so I'll just change that to b and that to c input a value for b and input a value for c okay so first of all it's going to ask us what's a, what's b, what's c and we're going to enter them all in uh, in numbers. So calculate the determinant. So now we're going to write debt equals b, and then this is how we do to the power of to the power of two, and then a minus is just the the slash four, and then we have to do the times times a times C. Remember that capitals is important as well. So if you do a capital A, that's different from lowercase a. So that's our debt. That's our determinant. Okay. So now, if debt is greater than zero, then f print f debt is greater than zero two roots okay new line and close it off okay I'll just copy this so what I could do here is I could just do a whole bunch of if statements so I so I'll just write do two ways of doing this. So we could do we could just end that there. So if if that's not zero, then it doesn't do that. And then we could just do our next one. And I'll just copy this. So this is just using if statements. So that is equal to zero. Therefore, one root. So, and then we'll do, remember our equals, our comparison is the two equals. Since we're not assigning debt equals zero, we're just saying does debt equals zero. So that's that. And then if debt is less than 
less than zero, therefore no real roots. So we could do this and this would work fine. So I'll call this um, quadratic, oh, quadratic roots. Okay, so let's have a go, see if we've done everything right here. So input a value for A, so I'm just going to do 2, 5, and then 1. That is greater than 0, therefore 2 roots. Okay, that's, that's, that's all good. I'm going to just change up this a little bit. So it um, it represents, we, we do else if statements. So, so instead of doing that, I'll do an else if that equals equals 0. And then we do just an else. We can just do else here. So, okay, so now if debt is greater than zero, do that. Else, so it's not that, that this statement isn't true, so go on to this one. Else, if this one's true, and then do this. And then if this one's true, or else, and then we don't have to put anything there because the, the only other option is for it to be less than, right? So it's either greater than zero, equal to zero, or another possibility, the only possibility is it, it to be less than zero. So now we'll save that one and give it another whirl. So A equals, let's do three, and then B equals minus six, and then C equals 19. So debt is less than zero, therefore there's no real roots. So try it again with like our one that we just did. So 2, 5, and 1, greater than 0, and therefore 2 real roots. And that's the example there of just displaying whether we can get 2 roots, 1 root, or no real roots from a quadratic equation.